So I can use the scroll wheel to basically scroll through them or you can just grab the button using left mouse and do this. Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another UI tutorial on Unity. Today we're going to see how to make a scrollable UI without writing any code in Unity. Now Unity has a default template for the scrollable UI. So you can just go to the hierarchy, click on the plus sign, go to UI and select scroll view. And in the scroll view, you can see there's an image and a scroll rect attached. The image is not a requirement. So if you don't want a background, you can just delete it off. So you can just say remove component, but I'll keep this as of now. So in the scroll rec transform, there are two major components that are required. The first is the content parameter, which takes a rec transform, which has all your UI elements, which needs to be scrolled. And second is the viewport. Now viewport is also a rec transform, but it is only the visible part. So your content rec transform can actually be bigger than the viewport and whatever content is covered inside the viewport will be visible on the screen. So if you want scroll bars, you can add the game objects to horizontal and vertical scroll bars. So I'm not going to be using scroll bars, so I'll make it none. Okay. I'll be using only horizontal scroll. So I'm going to uncheck vertical. And if you go to the scroll view and see the children inside that, there are the, the horizontal and the vertical scroll bar are present and we don't need them. So let's delete it. Inside the viewport is the content rec transform. So you can add any UI element that you want inside the content rec transform as the children of content. So let's go ahead and add some buttons and see how it works. So first I'm going to resize the viewport. I don't want such a bigger one. Now first let's reduce the scroll bar and make it something like this. I'm going to be making a horizontally scrollable UI and the viewport is also the same as my scroll view and the content is actually bigger. So I don't want it to be vertically bigger. I want it to be horizontally bigger. Okay. So this is my viewport and this is my content. So as you can see, the content rec transform is bigger than my viewport and, and is actually going out of the screen. So now let's go ahead and add some buttons. So let's go to UI and let's say button. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Duplicate, duplicate. Okay. I guess I'll create five buttons. Okay, so as for the buttons, it's better to have the anchors on the center because this will become a child of the viewport. So we'll just keep the anchors to the center. So it's already centered, so we don't have to worry about it. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop these buttons here. Okay, first button. Now comes the second button. Okay. Now comes the third button. Okay. The fourth one. And now the fifth one. Okay. So as you can see, the button length is basically bigger than my content rec transform so i'm going to make the content rec transform a little bit bigger okay so that it's able to contain all my buttons okay so once that is done i can just select all the buttons here and make them as children of the content rec transform so as you can see in the same view whatever is outside the viewport is not visible if you are having a custom viewport, then you can assign that here and whatever content that you're having should go into the content parameter. So with this, everything is set. So now we can just go to the game and click on play. And you can see that only two buttons are visible. 
so i can use the scroll wheel to basically scroll through them or you can just grab the button using left mouse and do this so that's it you have a scrollable ui without writing even a single line of code hope you like the video and thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share